Most 17-year-old students are content with simply completing all of the work on their syllabus and earning good grades. But today's standout student from Champlin Park High School has gone above and beyond what's expected in the classroom. As Delaine Cleveland reports, she's used her love of writing to introduce people to her native country halfway around the world. How many of you believe that Daisy is who she seems? High school classrooms can serve as a forum for intellectual discussions. Especially when she talks about being the beautiful fool. The topic in this class centers around the great Gatsby. Because she's of a lower <clears throat> social class. It's no surprise to hear Tori Odiambo check in. That's because this Champlin Park Jr. knows a few things about books. Step by step. Giraffes take their time and don't rush. One of her goals in life was to get a book published before her 17th birthday. As they roam on the savanna, giraffes enjoy their day. And after a process that took nearly two years. On this page, um, I took a picture of an elephant, a mother elephant, and the baby elephant under it. She achieved that goal with Close to Home, the African savanna. Well, the reaction I get is like, wow, you published a book? You, I haven't even done anything. The book documents Tori's experience of traveling to her native Kenya in 2010 for a family reunion. I really felt connected to my roots. It features photos of animals in their natural habitat. The grass is plenty and so are the trees. And poems about each animal she encountered. Well, one of the themes that are present in my book is the diversity of wildlife. And so that can be applied to today's society because, you know, we have people from different cultures, different backgrounds, yet we can still, like, learn to coexist. Talk to Tori's teachers. I would say that is definitely something that goes above and beyond. And they'll say that her book doesn't come as any surprise. Many of my students are highly successful in the classroom. They follow the syllabus follow the syllabus very clearly. Um, but then every once in a while we have students who, what I like to say, are, write their own syllabus. In other words, they create their own journey to academic success, which is exactly what Tori did with this book. This is just the start of my writing career. First, though, she still needs to worry about one more year of high school. We definitely have more reasoning power. Delane Cleveland, 12 News. Tori still hasn't decided on a college, but she said she plans to study medicine and become a doctor. Meantime, you can find her book on Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. And in high school, we were reading books, right. <laughs> not writing them. Her first, but probably not her last yeah, one, too, it sounds not. like.